G'day guys, it's Jess from Outback Equipment and today we're gonna to be running through the range of Kovix locks and hopefully we can find the right lock for you. Kovix has a massive range of locks. Starting over here, we've got your outboard motor locks, your min coder lock, the universal locks, including the big daddy of Kovix locks, the KTR. You've got your hitch pin locks, coupling locks for caravans and boats, your disc locks for motorbikes and bikes. You've got your security cables and your alarmed security cables. So first up, we're gonna take out the min coder lock. This is specific to min coders. This part here attaches to the mounting base. You simply lock it into place and thieves can't cut this off. Next up, we have the outboard motor locks. They're designed to go over the thumb tails that locks your motor onto the transom so that they can't be undone. The larger of the two locks is designed for outboard motors that are 30 horsepower and above, and the smaller lock is designed for outboard motors that are below 30 horsepower. Up next, we have your more universal locks from Kovix. The padlock at the front is just more of a typical padlock that you would use in conjunction with any of these security cables here, except that it's made from high quality stainless steel and it's also alarm. So if you do try to tamper with it, the alarm will go off. My personal favorite, the biggest, the baddest, the loudest of Kovix locks is the KTR. Not only is it designed for couplings and hitches, you can use it in conjunction with any of the thicker security cables to lock up your boat, your fridge, your shed, your spare wheels, anything that you wanna keep safe. The KTR is the lock for the job. Let's dive right into the features. You can use it for the more traditional ball couplings and hitches, but if you remove the middle piece, you can use it to lock up your DO35, your DO45 hitches and couplings as well. It features a 120 decibel anti-tampering alarm. It's made from the same high quality stainless steel as the rest of the range. And it even comes in this sick little case. So you know it means business. Next up, we've got your lockable hitch pin. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a hitch pin that locks. This one isn't an alarm. However, it's made of the same high quality stainless steel as the rest of them. Can't be cut or tampered with, and you can have it on while you're driving. So the Kovix locks here are designed for your couplings and hitches. You've got your non-alarmed one here, and you've got your alarmed one right here. When you've left your trailer alone, unhitched, this lock will then lock into your coupling so that no one can come in with their vehicle and nick your trailer. An ideal lock scenario would be a combination of these two locks, the lockable hitch pin and the coupling trailer lock. Using a combination of these two locks will prevent someone from removing your trailer from the hitch or removing your hitch from your vehicle. Next up, we've got your disc brake locks. They work by attaching to your disc brake rotors on push bikes and motorbike. Depending on the size of the width of your rotors, the bigger model is good for rotors up to 6mm and the smaller model is good for rotors up to 5.5mm. The alarm will deter thieves, the one8 meter security cable will ensure that it stays where it is and the disc lock will make sure that it's not removed from that location by physically riding the bike. Lastly, we've got your Kovic security cables. You've got the one5 meter here and you've got the alarmed cable here. The reason you'd get one of these ones is to lock up your motorbike. You could lock your motorbike gear up and you can lock your trailer to a tree if you want to leave it out the front of your house. Let's talk about lock care. Kovix recommends that once a month you spray WD-40 or any PTFE lubricant inside the lock to keep um, dust and grime out of there so that your keys work easily. They also recommend to write down the serial number on the keys in a very safe place because if you do lose them and if you want to replace them, it makes the whole process a lot easier. Kovix also recommends that if you do have a rechargeable Kovix lock, like these ones here, that you recharge them every three months. If you're starting to hear a weak alarm noise, that's usually the sign that you should recharge them up. The lithium battery that you find in the bigger models, uh, make sure that you take the plastic off before you put it in there and it's recommended to replace them once a year. Kovix has a huge range of locks. These are only a few that we've decided to feature. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. You can get your Kovix locks on outbackequipment.com.au any day of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and lube your locks and we'll catch you in the next one.